What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today because we are doing some battle day footage for you guys from Maltworthy Gan versus Galadaddy Can. For those of you who have been following the Clash Off, it has been awesome so far. First off, we all got paired up to fight each other, which is really, really cool. Uh, I'm super excited that we actually got to do that because otherwise it would have been a little weird and I don't know. It, it just seems a lot cooler that we're actually battling each other right now. It's very, very close. Uh, it's 111 to 118 and we both used 77 attacks. I've only used one of my attacks. Um, Galadin, or not Galadin, but uh, Clash on Gan and Noteworthy Games have both not used... Oh, nice. Somebody just... Uh, <laughs> Brian attacked Landon and didn't get any stars. I'm sorry, Brian. Uh, but <clears throat> as you can see, uh, Clash on Gan as well as Landon haven't used any of their attacks. I've used one of mine. I only got one star. I know. Boohoo. Um, but we are moving up. And if we go over here and check out, you can see that uh, Galadin attacked Clash on Gan and got two stars. Um, Brian has used both of his attacks. Daddy has only used one of his, and he got one extra star. Uh, so it's going to be close. It's definitely going to be close, and I'm super excited to see where it goes. But we have got a raid to do for you guys live. But first, what I need you to do before I go into the raid, so I'm going to need you to do it right now, go down into the description, click on all the links for everybody involved, and subscribe. All these guys are really, really good. Uh, you probably know many of them. Uh, I'm sure most of you know who Galadin is, who Daddy is, Brian, Landon. Um, Clash on Gan is still moving up in the YouTube community. Uh, he has got an awesome base. He's right up here at the top. We can go and visit him. But I want you guys to go down below into the description, click on everything, subscribe to everybody because everyone's going to be showing you guys different perspectives of the Clash Off series. After this is over with, I am going to be heading back to YouTube All Stars, so that is not over with. We will head back in there um, and start pushing on up. Uh, as you can see, I am upgrading my king right now. Oh no, that's totally going to... We're going to have to finish that because I'm about to raid. There, we finished it. <laughs> I'm lucky that I had those gems because otherwise that would have been really, really frustrating because I need him for an attack. So, um, as you can see, we've got a, uh, a Go Wee Wee already. We've got four witches, two golems, a whole bunch of wizards because my wizards are max and I want them to go ham. Uh, and then we've got a clan castle with two more witches in it, so we're going to have six witches. I probably could have brought another golem, um, but I think the two will be fine. And then we've got two archers in there. Um, now, since the real attackers, because I wouldn't say I'm that good of an attacker at all. I like using other strategies and whatnot. I've never been much of a trophy pusher, as you guys know. Um, but I'm going to leave the big attacks to my dude, uh, Clash on Gan and Landon. So they still have four attacks. So we're going to leave them to go after Galadin, Brian, and Daddy. Uh, their troops are a lot more max than mine. Uh, they've got max P.E.K.K.A.s, max everything. My P.E.K.K.A.s still have two levels to upgrade, all this kind of stuff. And their heroes are a lot more upgraded. So I'm going to leave the hard attacks or the more challenging attacks to them. And then I am going to... Um, I was thinking that I might attack right here, number 8, JDP, um, and come in from over here on the left side. We do have two free spells to get in there and help uh, block out some stuff. So I think we are going to attack his base. I'm going to head back, make sure that I have everything I need because I'm not trying to make any mistakes uh, in this last raid. So our king is up, our queen is up, our clan castle is full, our spells are full. You can see that we have one rage, two freeze, one jump, and one lightning. Um, and the jump's going to help us get into the middle. And we're going to save our rage for when we get into the middle of this base. So why don't we go ahead and do this? I'm going to go ahead and head in here to number eight, and we are going to try and get two stars on him. Um, here's, here's my dilemma, though. So we can either attack him and get two stars, or I could try and go for a three star on um, either this guy, Diamond Life, or I can try for a three star on uh, number 11 right here. And I think that his base definitely is three starable, so I could get two stars from doing that. So I'm actually considering attacking his base um, and just doing some work on it. Um, but I'm not sure where I want to attack from. But I want to do this live with you guys because it'll make it so much more interesting. Um, I think I might want to attack from the top portion of it and head down, just get the get the heroes out of the question immediately, and then uh, use that jump spell right here to get them in once the troops all get in there. 
We could even drop the jump spell right here and drop in from the right side of the base and get them into the center. In fact, I think that that is what I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and attack this guy. Hopefully we can get three stars. Uh, definitely looking for the two star on this. Yes, we want to attack him. All right, so we are going to go ahead and drop off our... Um, we're going to go ahead and drop off our golems like this. And then we're going to start spreading out our wizards behind them. Drop off a couple wall breakers. <coughs> drop off some more. And let's go ahead and drop off two of our witches. Spread them out as well. And we'll go ahead and drop this guy off too. See if we can get them in here into the center of the base. Here come all of his clan castle troops. We're going to go ahead and drop a lightning spell right here. And let's drop our jump spell right there so that we can get our troops inside the center of the base. We're going to drop our king and our queen in there. Get them uh, working on in. And you can see that we are going to go ahead and freeze this expo right here. Get our king into the center. Um, let's go ahead and rage up the center of the base. And we will drop our other freeze over here. I'm going to go ahead and use my king's ability in just a second. Um, <clears throat> he looks like he's doing good. The rest of our heroes are doing good as well. Um, our archer queen is doing work on this base. I'm going to go ahead and drop off the uh, other wizards right up here. Our queen's doing good. Our king is still up. I might go ahead and use our king's ability um, in just a second. I'm going to keep an eye on him. Our queen's being stupid. We're going to use the king's ability right there. Get him working his way around. We do still have some witches up. And queen's ability right now to keep her up and running. Hopefully we can take out that other uh, Tesla right there. We've got some wizards up at the top. We've got some skeletons up at the top. We've got uh, a golem up. Looks like we just lost a whole bunch of troops, though, to a giant bomb is what I'm thinking just happened right there. Our queen is going to go down very, very soon uh, from this cannon right here. And all that we've got left is this one wizard up here and these golems. There had to have been a giant bomb that just absolutely destroyed everybody on this base. This cannon down here is probably going to be the last defense standing, and it is going to take out the rest of our wizards. Um, we did get the two-star on it, which is, I mean, what I wanted, obviously. I would have loved to have the three-star. I think that it might have been the giant bombs right there in that section, so I am super happy that I didn't attack from the bottom of this base because I think that that would have made it a whole lot harder. We only have one lonely little golem up there, and now that wizard is done as well. So um, I guess we can go ahead and end the battle because we're not going to be able to get anything else. Um, we'll end that. We got an extra star for us right there, which is good. I wish that we could have gotten that three star, but we were not able to. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that it was a bomb that got him. Uh, let's go back and watch it, actually, because I want to see what happened. I was too in the moment watching everything. So let's go ahead and fast forward, um, and we'll talk about this attack. So I think I did a good job of spreading out my wizards and my witches that time. A lot of times I'll struggle with that. Um, and the wall breakers get in there really, really well. They head into the center. Uh, that lightning spell did a great job of getting rid of the skellies and doing some damage to their wizards and witches. Uh, we can go ahead and fast forward. You can see all of our wizards are coming in here. The king and queen went to the center of the base perfectly and uh, mm -hmm. did a really, really good job there. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. And that rage spell just absolutely was ridiculous with all of those wizards. Wizards and rage spells are absolutely absurd. So that was one of the bombs, and this is going to be the other bomb right here where all these witches go. Watch it. Here they go. That was what... That right there was what lost the the three star for us because three witches just went down if we'd had those witches up still then we would have won it so uh i guess great bomb placement on that uh <laughs> that was definitely good if we had gotten that uh if we'd gotten that though then i think that we would have gotten the three star if they hadn't if they hadn't died like that so let's go ahead and watch some of our other attacks uh we'll go ahead and go in here and let's go up here let's go to our clan and see who has been doing well this is gonna be a longer episode guys we're at nine minutes but hey yolo right we're gonna show some attacks we're gonna show some raids for you guys let's go ahead and uh let's look at some of these three stars so uh andy did a couple of three stars can i uh no i can't watch him so he attacked gabriel one i guess we can just go over to their base and look at some of the three stars so my dude ethan 3898 i watched this one live and this was a great great attack by him 
Um, he is going to use go wipe from the bottom of the base right there. And he does a great job of drawing out those clan castle troops, taking them out with the lightning spell, getting in here and doing work. Uh, his golems are maxed. His P.E.K.K.A.s are maxed. His wizards are not maxed. But the P.E.K.K.A.s are by far the victorious troop of this attack because they just completely annihilate the base despite not getting into the center. So that shows you how strong these P.E.K.K.A.s are because you can see they're just working their way around the outside of the base. Um, one of them up here and then a couple, three of them over here at the top. They went all the way around. If, I, if this was my attack, I'd be freaking out because I'd be like, you got to be kidding me. I'm going to get 99% without the town hall and I'm just going to get a one star. That's what I would have been thinking. Uh, but his queen goes in there with that P.E.K.K.A., takes out the town hall, and he's still got two of his P.E.K.K.A.s up, and they are just completely annihilating this base. He's got this golem over here doing work on that wizard tower, and again, these P.E.K.K.A.s are just going after it. Um, watching this live, he only had a couple seconds. As y'all can see, there's only 20 seconds left. This golem down here is being an idiot. <laughs> And uh, we've got these P.E.K.K.A.s right here. Last thing is a laboratory up here at the top. Ten seconds. Uh, I think he finished it with maybe two seconds to go. So it was freaking crazy. So uh, Ethan, 3898. Great job on that attack, dude. I watched that live, and it was awesome. So let's keep on working our way down. Uh, we'll go ahead and show this attack as well. Uh, Wilson attacked uh, Te Rambo Panda. I'm happy... <laughs> <laughs> he was able to get the uh, <laughs> to Rambo Panda. <laughs> Come on now. All right, so he had a golem in his clan castle. Looks like he's going to be doing go wipe as well. He's got some witches too, though, and a couple of minions in there. So he's attacking from the left side of the base, obviously, as you can see. He personally does not have max golems, but that max golem that was in the clan castle is going to help him out. In fact, I think that I might have been the one they gave it to him. I'm not sure. Um, but he's got his king and queen coming in now. And from the look of things at this point, it doesn't look like it would end up as a three star in my opinion. But he's got these max P.E.K.K.A.s that are just freaking crazy. I still, like I was saying, I still have two levels to upgrade my P.E.K.K.A.s with. We might do that in the 200,000 max out episode is get those up to max because that would be freaking sweet. But you can see they're in the center of the base and they're like, I'm sorry, is that your town hall? Uh, <laughs> not anymore. And they take it out in one swing right there. So those P.E.K.K.A.s under rage spells, just like wizards, do a absurd amount of damage. He did a great job of getting into the core of the base though. Uh, unlike that attack by Ethan, which stoned it up with a three star, they went around. Um, Wilson did a great job of getting into the center of the base, which was awesome. You can see they're just working their way around the top. He uses his king's ability right there. He's got a lava hound in the clan castle that is attacking him. That is super annoying. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's so annoying. But he's got his king up here. No more defenses up at the top unless a Tesla pops up. But that would have already happened, so never mind that. But his king and those P.E.K.K.A.s are working their way around. That lava hound is still up and being a pest. It looks like it's... It's taking two shots on those archers, and those archers don't even look like they're max. So that's freaking hilarious that that Lava Hound literally does absolutely no damage. It is a good tank, and it is annoying, and it will distract your troops, but didn't do anything to Wilson. Wilson still got that three-star on there. So uh, let's see. Look, somebody's attacking live. I can't see it, though. No! Swifty. Is he under attack right now? I wish we could watch that live, guys. I'm sorry that we can't. Um, I got two starred by uh, I Kill Son. He owned my base, but that's okay. Um, I wasn't expecting to to withstand all the two stars. So we've got three stars on all of the bottom bases, just like I'm pretty sure they have on us as well. No, nope, there's a, there's a two star right there, so that could end up being a three star by someone. Same with those. So we're doing good at clearing out the bottom easy bases. <laughs> But we're definitely going to work our way up, and with Galadin and Landon's attack still ready to go, I am very optimistic to see where this all goes. Um, so, looks like they said no. What happened? I'm not sure what happened on that attack. <clears throat> I guess he only got a two-star. I don't even remember which base he was attacking. But um, I'm, I'm very optimistic, guys. I think we're going to do good in this. Let's go ahead and watch one more attack because we're at about 15 minutes, so let's... Let's watch one of these lower level uh, three stars because a lot of you guys are lower level and you probably want to see some of them. So 
why don't we go ahead and replay this one on Nate from Shamazing Lions. Uh, do the shmoney dance, Shamazing Lions, right? So he is going to be attacking with a go wipe strategy as well. Looks like uh, the defender, Nate, has got some witches and some wizards in his clan castle. Took out the witch right there. Great job with that lightning spell. It's huge getting rid of the witches. You have to do it as quickly as possible. Um, he doesn't have that much time left. So uh, looks like he's drawing this wizard out and he's going to take it out right there. And then here come the golem. So one, two golem along the side, spreading out the wizards. Giant bomb up there, took out four of them. Dropping his P.E.K.K.A.s in, I think that's the same level P.E.K.K.A. as me. Uh, no, I have level, I think I have level three or four. Um, so Max Dragon in the Clan Castle is going to be the thing that shuts this base down. So you see the Max Dragon right there, I'm pretty sure just helped take out that Town Hall. Um, but those air defenses were doing some work on him. The P.E.K.K.A.s are working their way around, but this Tesla is just going at those P.E.K.K.A.s. Uh, thankfully, it is a extremely low level Tesla, otherwise that would have been bad. Um, but guys, definitely make sure that y'all look out for some videos from Galadin, Dowdy, and BJ Can Die because they're going to be showing the attacks from their guys. I'm just showing you the, the attacks from our clan right now, and we are going after. You can see it's going to end up being another three star on a pretty popular Town Hall 8 base, actually. I've seen that one a lot. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Again, check in the description. Make sure that you, you subscribe to everybody involved in the Clash Off. This has been a lot of fun. Talking to Galladin, Daddy, Gan, Noteworthy, BJ, everybody. has been awesome. So thanks for having me and BJ. I know we're definitely having a good time. And I'm excited to see how this turns out, guys. Remember, in the description, there are also uh, more information about point systems and everything like that. And then I'm going to choose an MVP from the clan uh, based on different criteria that I've already come up with in my head, so you got to guess what it is, but I'm going to be choosing that MVP, and we're going to be hanging out with them on a stream, just talking, blah, 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 so on and so forth. It's going to be a great time, but guys, leave a like for me, all right, and as always, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.